Travamal welcomes Ishan Singhawansa, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts based in Sri Lanka. Hello, are you Bowan Ishan? I go on, I go on, Charlie, and I'm very nice to be here. The Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts is one of the major hospitality groups in Sri Lanka. Before we learn about Cinnamon, can you provide us an update on how Sri Lanka tourism is doing, please? Okay, so Sri Lanka tourism is uh, on the on the mend, I would say. Uh, we've had, uh, like the global tourism in general, we've had a couple of bad years. But even before that, Sri Lanka, uh, since 2019, had been in, um, you know, the, there were some challenges for us. Uh, then even in 2022, when the world was recovering from uh, COVID pandemic, uh, we had the economic crisis. And finally, last year, 2023, we saw tourism coming back. Um, if you look at our tourism numbers, we're still very small. Uh, compared to global destinations. At peak, we had about 2.3 million arrivals uh, in 2018. Uh, we expect to reach those levels in 2024. And then the initial kind of push over the first uh, three, four months have been very good. Um, and, and we are looking at uh, kind of growing from strength to strength as a destination, Sri Lanka, uh, as a tourism destination. Uh, and and we feel this two two point three million number can grow to five million tourist arrivals, especially being so close to India, um, and uh, and the growth of the Indian market uh, being here so close to us, we feel we'll get to about five million tourist arrivals within the next five to six years very soon. So we are very optimistic about Sri Lanka and tourism, and and uh, hence. Uh, the investment in, in Sri Lanka and, and around the region as well from Cinnamon. Thank you for that. Now let's learn about the Cinnamon Hotel, hotels and resorts. Can you provide us with the background and overview of Cinnamon? Okay, so Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts have been in operation as a brand uh, since 2005, but uh, we uh, it, the owning company of the Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts is John Kills Holdings, which is the largest conglomerate in, in Sri Lanka, a listed company. And we have been in the uh, hospitality business for way more than you know, 25, 30 years. Uh, currently, we have uh, 15 properties across Sri Lanka and Maldives. We have uh, eight beautiful resorts in Sri Lanka, three uh, Colombo hotels, which are city hotels, uh, plus four beautiful resorts in Maldives. Uh, and we've been operating in those uh, two destinations for more than 20 years. Um, and and uh, we are, we are uh, just about to open Cinnamon Life uh, at say, City of Dreams. I'll talk about it a little bit later with you in more detail, but that's a kind of marquee project that we're launching um, uh, in partnership with Melco. Uh, and then that's uh, the largest uh, public, uh, private investment in the country. Uh, so cinnamon hotels and resorts in terms of uh, what we stand for and what our vision, uh, Charlie, is uh, that we want to represent the best of Sri Lanka to, to take the best of Sri Lanka to the world. Uh, and we believe that we have a, a good luxury resort operation, a uh, luxury resort offering that we can take to the world, especially with the opening of cinnamon life. Talk about the different properties you have in Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Since the Cinnamon Hotel Group is so focused on sustainability, what I'd like you to do is talk about the properties, the different types of properties, what kind of initiatives do you have sustainability-wise, and how are they integrated with the properties? Yes, so certainly. So we, uh, like I said, we are part of John Keel's group and the overall ESG framework uh, we work uh, on is around the same approach um, from environment, social and governance perspective uh, approaches based on three pillars. We have uh, very much focus on the planet. 
uh, where we focus on biodiversity and energy and, and consumption. Uh, second pillar is around people and communities, uh, where we are op- we are operating in 15 different locations in Sri Lanka and Maldives, and most of our resorts are in very rural areas or in areas where the we have you know we have one property in the middle of a wildlife sanctuary, we have another property with uh, close to an elephant sanctuary. So we are in in the wildlife. So we we take that as a big responsibility on our part to kind of maintain and, and foster those uh, environments. Third pillar is around empowerment, empowering especially the youth and the female population in in in, in, our, in Sri Lanka and Maldives. So those are the kind of three pillars that we work on. On the biodiversity pillar, specific initiatives that we worked on is, uh, if I talk about a couple of things, one is uh, we recent or a couple of years ago, we started working with the um, uh, forest authority and an uh, NGO, which is Rukrakas Grano, to kind of uh, reforest an adjacent 59 acre land next to the Singharaja rainforest, which uh, to really rehabilitate the uh, forest, which has been a great success for us over the last two years. Uh, we have also worked on uh, biodiversity studies across all of our properties, which are very close to nature. And we have a, a clear s- a specific program that we work with scientists uh, to really enhance the biodiversities of those areas and we educate as well our guests. Uh, thirdly, we also uh, work in Maldives with uh, ocean and data uh, temperature, o- ocean temperature data loggers. And we work with the Maldives and authorities to kind of help them improve uh, the ocean temperatures and the initiatives that we take around that and also uh, from on a biodiversity front we also uh, worked with uh, hum- uh, solving the human elephant conflict especially in sri lanka where we worked on a project with another party partnering with them to help uh, a village uh, to deal with that human elephant conflict. So there are multiple things that we do across enhancing the biodives. Those are kind of key marquee projects. Uh, on on to those kind of same points, we all of our properties are travel life gold certified. Um, and we have one property at Cinnamon Bentota Beach, which is a platinum, uh, Leeds Platinum Resort. So uh, from an energy conservation point of view also, we do a lot of work around uh, solar projects uh, and, and energy conservation uh, in terms of driving these practices to manage our planet. Um, another big area that we're working on from an overall ESG point of view is uh, getting the female participation in the industry uh, to higher number. Uh, in Sri Lanka and Maldives, as an industry, it's, uh, it's woeful, I would say. It's only about 12% participation. In, in hospitality across across the two countries. And we are about 16% and we have a big ambition to drive it up to about 25% over the next couple of years. And we work with uh, empowering institutions, uh, opinion leaders, uh, training facilities, technical facilities, really inculcate this culture of women coming into the industry, which we feel uh, is a big positive impact we can make, especially in the rural areas that we operate in the resorts. So those are the kind of key highlights around what we are passionate about and what, what we are doing around ESG. How do you integrate these initiatives so guests can participate in their fruits? Definitely. So in terms of driving um, the message forward, so we do this to really garner support and we want the guests who are really conscious about these things uh, to be part of this journey with us. So in terms of the rainforest project, for example, we, uh, we uh, engage with the guests, we can get, take them into the rainforest, be, uh, let them be part of that, you know, planting a tree, uh, taking the message across. So we have uh, very good guest engagement programs across all the, all the, uh, biodiversity uh, elements that we work on. In Yala, we have um, we have a leopard research program that the guests can get involved with, contribute towards uh, when they go on safari and, and engage. We have elephant, human elephant conflict. Also, we have created a, a, a tourist product as well around this where they can go and uh, understand and engage and talk to the villagers, understand it so that they can also contribute towards it. So, uh, across most of these things, 
uh, we have linked up our guest experience and the storytelling to be part of it. Uh, regarding Cinnamon Life, uh, it's to be an integrated resort. Uh, what is it going to comprise of? And what are its objectives for Sri Lanka and the Cinnamon Hotel Group? So when, um, if I talk about Cinnamon Life, uh, we just, on the 30th of April, John Keel's group, which are, is our holding company, announced to the world uh, that we had entered into a partnership with uh, Melco International, uh, and it will be a city of dreams. It will be uh, Cinnamon Life at City of Dreams, Sri Lanka, uh, which will be uh, integrated uh, marquee uh, resort in, in South Asia. So this will be the largest um, private investment into the into con, into the country uh, and we are very excited about cinnamon life opening so our ambition with cinnamon life at city of dreams uh, Charles, is um, to really uh, represent the new sri lanka and we believe with the with, with us being so close to india and, and the largest fastest growing economy uh, in the world we believe the outbound travelers from india we can attract into sri lanka and colombo and uh, and to kind of really leverage on that to grow the tourism and and uh, tourism in Sri Lanka. So we, being our ambition is to really re, um, go to the world and talk about Sri Lanka and the new Sri Lanka and new Colombo and transform the destination Colombo with cinnamon life. That's it. Your dreams. So this comprises of uh, overall. Uh, integrated uh, resort is about 4.5 million square foot of built-up space. It has uh, two apartment blocks, which is already commissioned and operational. It has an office tower, uh, which is also operational. And the main building has uh, two hotels. One is Cinnamon Light, which comprises of 687 keys um, and multiple banquet facilities up to about 5,000 uh, capacity. Uh, and about 20 odd uh, restaurants and bars uh, in, in Cinnamon Life. And on top, we have another uh, hotel within a hotel at a luxury level, which Melco will operate uh, under their brand Noir. Um, and obviously the gaming facility, uh, which will be uh, part of the overall integrated facility, which will be about 180,000 square feet of uh, allocated for that, and it will be one of the largest in the region. Uh, on top of that, we also have a mall, uh, a retail space, which is linked to the main building, which is the two hotels, the gaming, and the mall. So it's a big uh, statement for Colombo. It's a big uh, statement for uh, the transforming Colombo and to the future of Colombo. Thank you so much, Ishan Singh Awaz Saab. Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. Thank you very much for having me. It was very, very good to talk to you, Jeff.